Am I the asshole for firing my bridesmaid for disclosing her diagnosis at my bachelorette? I'm getting married in three weeks, and I just had my bachelorette over Easter weekend. During a quiet moment, one of my bridesmaids took me aside and told me that about three months ago, she was diagnosed with fetal alcohol syndrome. Obviously, I asked her what that meant for her, and she started crying because she feels differently about her relationship with her mother. We met in elementary school, and she's always had a learning disability, but she didn't know that there was a preventable cause. My other bridesmaids noticed her crying, and the evening ended up being about her. We skipped out on going to a bar in the limo I had hired because she was upset. I thought about it all today and ended up emailing her to tell her that she took away an important moment from my life. I feel bad about this happening to her, but even though she didn't always know, it's been going on for her whole life. If this was a recent thing she found out about, or if it was some kind of deadly disease, I would feel differently. But she was sitting on this for months before bringing it up at an event that was supposed to be special to me. You only get one bachelorette and mine was totally overshadowed. I felt really hurt that she did that, and I told her that I didn't want to have her in my wedding if that's how she is going to treat me at a time where the focus was supposed to be about something good in my life instead of something sad in hers. She could have waited a few more weeks until after the wedding if she wanted to have this conversation. She's still invited to the wedding, but I don't want her to be a bridesmaid after this. I was just texting my cousin, my maid of honor, and she disagreed with me doing this. She said that it sucked that we didn't go to the bar, but this other friend has already paid for her dress, so I should just let her stay. My my fiance supports my choice, but I wanted another opinion. Am I the asshole? This is a good devil's advocate one. Mm, <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Um, Shit. That's tough. Okay. <laughs> I kind of. I don't know. I kind of. I don't know if this is like unrelated or irrelevant, but I kind of appreciate that this girl's maid of honor was honest with her and she wasn't just like, yeah, it's your wedding. Fuck her. Mm -hmm. I kind of appreciate that she was like, she did spend the money on the dress. But I, I don't think the maid of honor should be telling the bride what to do. But I do kind of like that she was like more open minded to the girl that was going through something. Not that the friend who made it about her was completely in the right. But I feel like that would be a really easy thing for people to like gang up on her mm -hmm. and be like, you know what? Yeah, she shouldn't have done that. Fuck her. But <laughs> the maid of honor is playing devil's advocate. Yeah, I don't know that it's grounds for expulsion from the bridal party, maybe. Mm hmm. I think that the girl that's getting married, the bride, has, you know, a right to be upset about that, I guess. But if that one thing is going to lead to you kicking them out of your bridal party, then I think that's kind of crazy. I mean, yeah, like, how close were you that, like, that could just, like, ruin everything so quickly? Also, it sounds like maybe that person has been really stressed and maybe they were like finding safety in the weekend that she was on and Aww. she felt that it was like a safe space for her to share that with other people because I'm sure that that's not something that's easy to tell other people about Yeah. so I could kind of see her side as well there where maybe she felt like she was in a room that she would have a lot of support around and it sounds like she did get a lot of support yeah. obviously it's just not the ideal time for the bride so I could understand why she's kind of mourning the fact that she missed out on things that she wanted to do on that weekend that was meant for her but I also think it's a little tough to see Say, like you're out of my bridal party now yeah also just assuming but many times on bachelorettes there's alcohol involved so if this girl is drinking people want to talk when they drink and people get emotional when they drink so mm -hmm. i feel like that could be a factor that led to her telling that secret i guess i feel like yeah think about how close you are with this girl and do you see this as a lifelong friendship and then also think about what does someone being a bridesmaid mean to you because i would think that for me the people that i want to be my bridesmaids are going to be my closest friends the people that are there for me that would support me through anything positive or negative and the people that i want to spend like the most time with and also people that I want to remember forever because these people are in your photos that you're going to have forever. So I think that if this girl is one of your closest friends and you wanted her in your bridal party for that reason, but she made one mistake when she was going through something traumatic and hard and she went about it in a bad way, does that negate all of the reasons that you asked her to be in your bridal party? Like, does that outweigh all of those other things? And I think if the answer is yes then sure ask her to not be in your bridal party or kick her out but if you can justify how amazing of a friend she has been for your whole life leading up to this moment 
and you know that kicking her out of your bridal party might really hurt your friendship, is that worth it? So I think just think about it like that. Like, are you going to be friends with this girl for the rest of your life? Or is this thing that she did going to make you not even want to be friends with her? Because if that's the case, I don't think she should be in your bridal party just because she bought the dress. Like, she can even wear the same dress to the wedding and just not be in the bridal party and not stand next to you in all the photos. But if she just made one mistake, I think kicking her out of your bridal party is going to hurt your friendship way more than maybe you expect. Like, Mm -hmm. it's not just a one time thing where you're like, well, you're not going to be in my bridal party, but our friendship will remain the same in every other capacity. That's likely not going to be the case. Yeah, I think too. I mean, maybe I'm going out on a little bit of a stretcher, but it's almost like mean girl behavior because like clearly this person's really down about this and upset. And like then you're they confided in you in this group of girls and then, you know, you're upset the way that it happened. So now you're going to be like while you're kicked down, you just learned about this diagnosis and you're clearly very upset about it. You're also no longer a lot of my wedding because you confided in our group and told us that like, I don't know for me and maybe it's just like the way that like I see things like I wouldn't want to kick someone down even further when they're already clearly very down so I think it's okay to say like I was upset that you kind of brought it up like that but like I'm really here for you and you know all of this stuff but I just think maybe it's a little bit too harsh um yeah especially with kind of the way that things are going for this person right now I think that if there's someone that you cared enough about to have in your wedding then maybe you could show up and be a really good friend for them right now too that is such a good point because also I'm sure that this girl, if she wasn't just looking like I know that sometimes people bring up their own problems during someone else's event for attention. Mm-hmm. If this girl's character, like if this is almost out of character for her and she's been a great friend to you since childhood and this random thing happened and you're like, oh my God, why would you do that? I'm just thinking about my closest friends. It's not in any of their character to make my event about themselves. So if this happened in my friend group, I would be like, oh shit, like she's really going through it if she's bringing it up here. Like she can't even wait until we're not on my bachelorette. I think that if you can look at who she is as a person and like get past your temporary feelings like your feelings are valid you know you're allowed to be annoyed or upset that an important night was taken away from you that's okay but that feeling likely will not last that's probably a fleeting emotion that's going to pass so if you can look past that annoyed mad upset feeling that you're feeling right now and be like why did she actually do this you know is this a person that would just bring up her own shit to make an important event about her because she just wanted attention if that's the case then sure maybe kick her out because she showed her true colors you know you're like if you're doing this in my bachelorette what are you going to do at my wedding to make it about you but if you can see that she genuinely is just going through something and it just came out at the wrong time and she's a good person I don't think she should have to face even more consequences and I don't think that that's something you should ruin a friendship over side note I also don't think that her having bought a dress or having not bought a dress should be the reason that she either remains or does not remain in your bridal party obviously if someone bought a dress and then they got kicked out of your bridal party that sucks and that's just annoying annoying for everyone involved but if you're actually not going to be friends with this girl in your life the reason to keep her in your bridal party is not oh she already brought the dress so she might as well no you could even give her the money for the dress i think the dress is irrelevant Mm -hmm. so the maid of honor's point i think (laughs) while i might be on her side it's not the reasoning that i agree with yeah and maybe that is more of her reasoning for feeling that way too and she just like doesn't want to like cut as deep and be like stopping a shitty person yeah maybe yeah i don't know yeah i think just like deeply look at the friendship with this person i think that's more important than the dress it's more important than your temporary feeling of being annoyed that this one dinner was taken away from you and i think you also need to talk to your friend because i think that if you do have a really great friendship with this person and you can be honest with her i think it would be fair to say hey like of course i'm here for you i do just want to get this off my chest and i'm not trying to yell at you or create further drama but i did find it a little weird that it came up at my bachelor is there a reason for that like were you just really really feeling it in the moment like of course it annoyed me a little bit I'm sure you can understand that I was excited for my bachelorette so while I'm happy to be here for you I was just very confused as to why that came out at that time and then go from there clear what's the what's the phrase clearest kind clearest kind yes Mm -hmm. 
Also because I feel like sometimes when things happen to us in our lives and we get annoyed at them, if you don't vent your feelings, it kind of builds up inside and then you're like, you know what? And she did this. And she also sucks because of X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. And maybe those things you would never even think about outside of this really intense emotion that you're feeling right now. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, 100%. Things do build up and then it boils over into so many other things. So that's how you just have to be honest. Yeah. So I feel like getting this off your chest will almost avoid anger and annoyance in irrelevant situations. So I think Mm -hmm. you need to talk to her. And don't just jump to she's not in my wedding because she talked about something she was going through at my bachelorette. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one's tough. Yeah. 